as important as it is to find the cancers, what excites me about this is that we're also able to reduce our false positives uh, dramatically. And that's a little harder to demonstrate, but I'll show you a couple of cases to, to help try. This was, a, again, a case that I looked at, and I was certainly concerned about this based on the MLO projection. But we're, what we're going to see on the, here's the uh, AVI file through the tomosynthesis, and you'll notice that density just melts away. And, of course, you all, as you're implementing this in your practice, um, you will have to gain your own confidence in that. But I can tell you there was nothing there, and that's just a benign asymmetry. And, you know, that is what I think is mo more satisfying than just about anything, is that we're able to be much more confident about our negatives. Those little densities, those little asymmetries you weren't sure about, you can be a lot more confident are just benign um, areas of breast tissue and essentially the way I look at it, it really truly is, is that you, the density will melt away as you go through the lesion on TOMO. Here's another example. What we see is an area that looked bad on uh, the 2D mammogram. Here's the 2D mammogram. Here's the 3D mammogram. And this area, again, it melts away on the 3D and this was ultrasound and there were no, there was no uh, suspicious area there as well. Here we have a mass in the right breast. We can see that it's been biopsied, uh, so we have biopsy proof of what this is. And here it is on the MLO projection. And you'll notice on the 3D that this is lobulated. And it's of moderate density as well. So we're not just talking about speculated masses when we're looking at malignancies. If you see a truly lobulated mass, uh, you would still call this back. Okay, I would still call this lesion back. And in this case, um, this was a fibroadenoma, uh, but it is an appropriate callback from uh, uh, mammography. Uh, now, what isn't, in my opinion, necessary to call back is a TDLU that's distended with fluid, that you'll get used to seeing is low density, uniform, circular, low density masses in a cluster. Um, I do not call back. Okay, so this is, this was again, was a, uh, was a fibroadenoma. Uh, this next patient you'll see Actually, this is uh, the area of interest, and here it is on the MLO view. And we, in this case, you actually see that this is a lower density lesion, okay? And that's a very that is comforting that that's a low density uh, round lesion without speculation. And I don't have a problem with someone. Initially calling this back, you you know you need to have your own level of comfort. But I am not calling nearly as many of these areas back. Uh, and if they're perfectly round, I don't call them back at all. In this case, we did, we did an ultrasound. It's just a cluster of cysts, and it's benign. 